see what happened. Your commentator, Barry Davis. Here's a man believing in third time lucky. Steve Wicks broke an ankle as the season started and then in his comeback game in November was carried off after 47 minutes in need of a cartridge operation. He's back in the side today in the absence of the suspended Bob Hazel. And it's a Ranger side which has won 50 matches this season, eight of them here and seven away from home. Kenny Clements, the record buy for Oldham Athletic, is now their skipper and one of three former Manchester City players in their lineup. The other two being number four, Jed Keegan, and number 11, Roger Palmer. It's a side which welcomes back after suspension number three, John Ryan, and number 10, John Bowden, but loses Roger Wilde for the same reason. The referee is Brian Daniels of Brentwood in Essex. Last season, Oldham became the first side to prevent Queen's Park Rangers scoring on their own carpet. And they have a record of a number of draws this season. But really, with the gap developing between the top three and the rest, Oldham in fifth place need to win this sort of fixture. Gary Waddock. The best of passes he'll make this afternoon, surely. Watching the bounce with care. Clearance by Neil. Ryan. Wrestled out a bit by Michael White. Here's Clive Allen. Got a position on the right for the shot of Clements. Neil has come forward. Gregory and Flanagan waiting in the middle. And no early test for the young goalkeeper. Andy Gorham, who's 18 years old. Seely, nice touch. Flanagan. And the referee's arm aloft. For an indirect free kick to Queen's Park Rangers. Waddock on the ball. So Daniels sending the tide back. Allen! Oh, hit the post! And it really shook the foundations of the goal. Lovely strike by Clive Allen. Keegan, McDonough with the run, and gets there, he's got Taylor behind, and the free kick against Wicks, every Oldham player has gone far side from the kicker, now Palmer comes across, McDonough at the back, and Wicks concedes the corner, First corner. A bit of curl. Oh, and they allowed Palmer to get the head up. Enough big men there. Hacker stayed at home. And Palmer was able to meet it but not keep it down. Michael White. Neil. Seely. Well, left by Allen in the first place. <laughs> Look at that for a bounce. Got the deflection, took it soaring over the bar, and it's a corner. The trio to come from much further back, CD joins them. They've only got one player really anywhere near the goal. CD leads the charge, Bennett comes behind and gets the header, and he's wide. It's been an interesting tactic by Rangers. They left just one player with an obvious threat to the goal, which was Allen, and the others came running behind. Billikin. Silly disappointed with the verdict. It did become a bit of a wrestling match. I'm 
not sure that uh, Hulikin was well advised with his attempt to take on Seeley there. Allen. Flanagan. Allen is underneath it, so was Ryan. Gregory, Allen. Gregory. And it was a good snapshot by John Gregory. And whose goal divided the teams up at Boundary Park. Rangers won 1 0. Bit of an elbow. Here's Palmer, if you could turn smartly. He needs to turn pivoting on his left foot and never wanted to. Keegan. He was onside, of course, but others were offside. And I think he feels that the others were not interfering with play. But the only action really that is memorable from the first half was the shot by Clive Allen, which all but uprooted the far post. I'm afraid it's been much ado about nothing, nothing. <laughs> Oldham Athletic have been involved in no fewer than 13 draws this season, but only one of them was of the no score variety. Doors. Clements. Rangers beaten at home twice and held all together three times on one occasion in the Football League Cup. Keegan. It's intended as a back pass, and it was, but didn't go to the goalkeeper. Roddick. Flanagan, Allen, good save, he's got to get up for the bounce, Michael White. Uh, it's the first time really, well, certainly in this half, that we've seen a goalkeeper cavort across his goal. He had to do it once in the first half. Generally, there haven't been many saves. pushing Splats all around here oh, he did well it's Atkinson oh, he's done very well Wicks who Got out the cross ball. Seely. Allen in the middle. Flanagan coming up as well. And Sinclair's head up. And the wind seems to have rather swung round. It's stronger than before. And it's blowing into Andy Gorham's face. on the far post, but he's hit it pretty strongly. Fennick made it, Seeley. And Tony Seeley breaks the deadlock. From right in front of the goalkeeper's nose. Taken short, not long across the goal, headed back by Fennick, and in by Tony Seeley, standing almost on the goalkeeper's toes. Seeley's seventh goal of the season. Putting Rangers on their way to their ninth win here. Atkinson. Neil. Farmer. Well, he 
he's done well. Oh, but sadly, McDonough for Oldham was unable to do likewise. Surprised at the ball coming to him because it got the deflection, which suddenly changed its course completely. He was right in front of goal with everything to look at, and he missed. Alan was poised behind to rifle the left foot. And Gorham missed it completely. The clearance was by Keegan on the header by Seeley. That's the first mistake that Gorham has made, and he was rescued by the man now on the far post, Jed Keegan, the skipper. Michael White. Seeing what the instep can do. No, oh, that's not a bad try. Well, I suspect this is the first time since he became a manager that Joe Rod is not entirely unhappy that he's not playing. Taylor. I haven't seen a run from him in this half. Hulikin. And pick any one of six for the offside decision. Chance on the first half. Crowd encouraging Mr. Daniels to blow his whistle. There's a quick check that his watch is still ticking. Takes out another watch from his pocket. He's got a signal from both linesmen. Whistle is poised, blows, and Rangers have another three points. The only goal of the match. Scored by Tony Seeley, a header down that beat Andy Gorham from very close range. The second half was better than the first. And that win takes Rangers to within a point of second division leaders Wolves, who lost 2-1 at Barnsley. Both are